Hey there, welcome to another tailgate technology session brought to you by Frontier Precision. I'm Wes Schneider. Um, today we're going to do a quick little dive in on the new augmented reality viewer that Trimble has released in Access 2021.20. Uh, when you use one of the new controllers like a TSC-7 or a TSC-5 along with the uh, R12i GNSS receiver. All right, so we're just going to jump in here and kind of show you a few of those capabilities. All right, so I've already got my, my survey started up. You can see we're initialized. My IMU's already been calibrated. Um, you can see my precision's up there on top. We have a DXF file preloaded for our site here um, that was done a couple years back. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on first as a layer. So let's jump into our layers. It's right here, our FPI Weight Park DXF. Um, you can just turn it on so you can visually see it, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and also be interactive with it. So if you tap that twice, you get your dotted box around it. That'll go ahead and turn that DXF on so we can interact. All right, so with that now turned on, <clears throat> I can go ahead and um, zoom in here a little bit. There we go. So now you can see that DXF file. You can see where we are and we're orientated with that chevron. So again, with the R12i, that chevron is pointing us in the direction that the receiver is pointing in. Um, just as a quick side note that we've mentioned several times before with the IMU, it is key now that our faceplate is always facing the same direction as our uh, data collector here. All of the orientations are based off of that. So you can see on the screen, if I go ahead and start to rotate, you can see that chevron rotating on the screen. All right, so that's gonna be key for what we're doing today. All right, now in this new version, the bottom left corner of our screen, we see a new icon that shows a data collector and a camera. That is our AR viewer. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that on. So it's gonna immediately go ahead and kick on to our, um, uh, our AR screen, where we're, we're actually viewing it from our camera on the TSC7 here but it is overlaying in full augmented reality that DXF file because we do have vertical on it. So you can see our file overlap now with the curb, gutter line, our pedestal over here. Okay, one of the tools, if you're just giving this a try for the first time, um, you may need to adjust the DXF to fit the orientation that the data collector is currently on the pole because you might um, have the, the data collector shifted down or up a little bit. You might need to do that adjustment. So just to show you how to do that, you can hit this little icon over here with the camera that shows a little orbit. It's gonna give you an alignment screen that allows us to go ahead now and see uh, the pitch, yaw, roll of that information. So if I go ahead now and just reset it back to what the factory setting was, you can see where I can grab now the pitch of that file and start to go ahead and drag that over a little bit. And you'll see that starting to adjust the, the information itself. See how it moved that down to match the ped? Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my yaw, start to adjust that file a little bit, and you can see it start to move that information over on top of where it's supposed to be. Like that. So you can now see that alignment file line up perfectly. So now as you move throughout your project, the information should now match based on the camera orientation of your data collector. If that moves or shifts, you may have to adjust to that DXF to match to it as well. All right. Um, so we can also, in the AR viewer, you can use some of the other tools like the CAD toolbar and a few other functions. We're gonna save some of that for a really deep dive that we'll do into this new AR viewer. We just wanted to give you a little feel for what that is capable of. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to your Frontier Precision rep and we'll be happy to show you what, uh, what we can all do with that new viewer. All right, until next time, thank you.